Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this story is going to make your blood boil. At least I hope it does. Anthony Rulos watched for what seemed like an eternity as his classmate wheezed and gagged in a desperate struggle to breathe. See, a girl, the girl was uh, having an asthma attack. Now, I'm not a medical person, but we all know what asthma is. An asthma is a medical emergency. So what does the teacher do? The teacher emailed the nurse. That is criminal negligence in my opinion. For up to me, she would be in an orange jumpsuit right now. Girl told classmates she was having an asthma attack, but her teacher refused to let anyone leave the ca classroom, according to NBC affiliates KCEN. Instead, the teacher emailed the school nurse and waited for a reply, telling the students to stay calm and remain in their seats. What the hell's wrong with her? Why did she still have a job? When the girl fell out of her chair several minutes later, Rulis decided he couldn't take it anymore and took action. We ain't got time to wait for no email from the nurse, teacher's report quotes him as, him as saying, according to Fox News Latino. Well, he's right. This kid is a hero. And with that 15-year-old Gateway Middle School student, Carried his stricken classmate to the nurse's office, violating his teacher's orders. Good! She should be fired! That teacher needs to be fired! He or she! Oh, man. The teenager later texted Rose to let him know she was fine, according to KWTX, but that didn't stop school officials at Alternative School in the Killian Independent School District from punishing him. Rulis was written up by his teacher and eventually suspended for two days, according to KCEN. I was like, what? I'm suspended for this? Like I was trying to help her. Yeah, I was. During fifth period, another student complained that she couldn't breathe and was having an act asthma attack. The report states, as I waited for a response from the nurse, the student fell out of her chair to the floor. Anthony proceeded to go over and pick her up, saying, Fuck that. We ain't got time to wait for no email from the nurse. Good for him. She found out uh, Mandy Cortez Rulis' mother said Casey and that she assumed her son, who had been disciplined by school officials in the past, was to blame when he was informed that he'd been suspended again. I wasn't trying to hear it, she said. It was like, oh no, they told me, they already told me what happened. He walked out of class and he said, and he was like, okay, forget it. But I can tell you, I know, you know your kids, I could tell you is upset. Yeah, I would think so. John Kraft, superintendent of Killian Independent School District, said in a statement that he could not discuss the suspension. That is bullshit. Oh, you're an asshole. The district is unable to provide details relating to matters that pertain to information involving student discipline and or health records. The statement said, Bullshit! That is bullshit. In an effort to protect students' rights, the confidentiality grant under the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, the details of the investigation and or disciplinary actions may not be provided by the the district at this time. That is incredible bullshit. Bullshit! The Killian ISD maintains the safety of her students, staff, and campuses as a priority. Bullshit! That is incredible bullshit. In a plaza, 
efforts of students who act in good faith and assist others in times of need. Liar! Liar! Pants on fire! Liar! Liar! Pants on fire! You are a liar. Liar! Liar! Pants on fire. And the kid said he'd do it again. Well, good for him. Uh, this kid is a hero in my opinion. He hasn't always been the best of students, but in this particular case, he's a hero. Let's see if we can find out uh, the name of the teacher. Hang on. Well, uh, this is LatinoFoxNews.com. They don't mention the teacher's name. I don't even know if, if, if it's a man or a woman, but whoever they are uh, should be in a uh, jail cell right now, in my opinion. At the very least, this teacher should be fired. Go to jail. Immediately. Obviously, this person is incompetent. I mean, putting myself in that place, that kid starts wheezing. I'm not waiting for no blasted email I'm gonna get to I'm gonna tell one of them kids get down to the nurse's office or however you do it get the nurse up here we got a serious situation something like that tell her to bring an emergency medical kit anything or do just what they did carry a kit carry her to the nurse's office and get her treatment. This is disgusting. I can't believe they did this. What the hell's wrong with these people? They're insane. I have half mind. I might call them tomorrow. Uh, I want a few people, a few uh, YouTube people who actually, I get on the phone and I call these people I email them, I give them a ration of shit all the time. When I do these stories, I don't just sit here and do the stories. When I see something like this, they hear from me. You better believe it. I don't know the name of the teacher, but for up to me, that teacher would be uh, in an orange jumpsuit right now. Go to jail. At the very least, this is called criminal negligence. At the very least, criminal negligence. And somebody will be in a jail cell right now for up to me. An asthma attack is... We're not talking about a case of the sniffles here. Asthma attack is a medical emergency. She had a little cut on her or something like that. That'd be one thing. This is a medical emergency. You don't, you don't sit there and wait. This kid is a hero in my book. I'm not taking it back. Oh, I am hot now. I'm gonna see if I can get these sons of bitches on the phone. I'm gonna let them have peace of my mind. I'll tell you that much. This is absurd. Somebody should be in jail for this. Hey, Martin Facts of Mars, I suggest you uh, get a number for the school district. Maybe I can bring that up if I can. Hang on. All right, uh, right here's their uh, web page. Pretty easy to find. The phone number is 254-336-1700. If you want to give them a ration of shit, you better believe I, I probably will call him up. I might try to call him up tonight and just leave a message. Somebody should go to jail over this. I mean, this teacher, that is criminal negligence. Like I said, an asthma attack is a medical, medical emergency. I'm not talking about a case of sniffles here. She just had a runny nose or something. That'd be a different situation, but... Uh, Medical emergency, and they're going to do this? They're just going to let her sit there and gag and wheeze while I wait on an email? No, that's criminal negligence. 
I'm artifacts from Mars. I'm pissed. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with these people. They're out of their minds. I'm artifacts from Mars. Thanks for watching.